Oh, hello, Bridget. So we start with 180 mils that we want to give to the patient, and that's an IV. The flow rate, you say, is 20 drops per minute, and you are using a tin drop set. First thing we do here is we translate what tin drop set means. It's 10 drops per mil. So we don't need that information there anymore. We just concentrate on the 10 drops per mil. I have three pieces of information. The 180 mils, the 20 drops per minute, and the 10 drops per mil. So we need to connect the ones that have similar or the same units. So the first connection I would uh, make here is the mils. 180 mils and 10 drops to the mil. So because we are using the, the 10 drop set, we're going to start with that. That's our, our have. So if I draw the box and I start with my have, or the two bits of information there, so we have 10 drops per mil. We have talked about this, means one mil. So 10 drops in one mil. So that's in, and we don't need that piece of information anymore. Now the connection here, you might say, oh, isn't it the drops? No, let's go straight to the mils. The 180 mils here on top, we place it on the bottom. So we are matching the units, mils, and we want to find out how many drops we need to give if in 180 mils. So we multiply those two, 10 times 180, and divide by the third number, 1. So basically, that's an easy one for us to do. 1,800, what's that? That means drops. So now, I have, I have already used the 10 drop set, I have used the 180 mils. What's left is just the 20 drops per minute, and this new answer I have just got here. So let's see what we do with that. Let's copy that again. 20 drops per minute. And we have just found out that we're going to deliver 1,800 drops. Well, same thing as before. I have here one ratio, one rate, and I have here another piece of information. These are connected by the drops. So I can start the box again. So it's a two box step problem. So let's enter first the double bit of information, 20 drops in again one minute. And uh, that information is entered. We look at the other one, 1800 drops must be written on the top. So we have the equivalent units. And now we just need to find the number of minutes. And doing exactly the same as before, we multiply the two numbers in the diagonal, 1 times 1800, and divide by the third number, 20. So 1 times 1800 will be 1800 over 20. I can use a calculator, but I could probably here also do some uh, mental calcs and some simplifying. So simplifying the zeros, meaning divide both numbers by 10, and then I have 180 divided by 2, which I can do in my head. That will be 90. 90 what? It needs to match here. It must match with the minutes. So we have 90 minutes. That's the delivery or infusion time. Now, your question said, give this answer in hours and minutes. Well, 90 minutes. We know that each hour is the same as 60 minutes. So what I could do here is simply uh, take away one hour, 60 minutes, out of this. So that means in 90 minutes I know I have one lot, one full lot of 60 minutes or one hour. And that leaves me with 30. So, and they are all in minutes here. So 60 minutes and then 30 minutes. 90 minutes, if I take one full lot of 60 minutes, that means one hour, and then we still have left these 30 minutes. So final answer, one hour 
and 30 minutes. I hope that makes sense. And we'll just talk about what if it was not a lovely but like 90 minutes. Let's say we had 138 minutes. Well, I could think in lots of 60s. I must always think in lots of 60 minutes if I wanted to talk about hours. Well, two lots of 60 will be 120. So that goes into this number. So I can say now that I have two full hours in this total number of minutes. So I'm going to take away those two hours. But of course, I need to use it in minutes here. If I take away those two hours, I'll be left with 12, no, sorry, 18 minutes. So 18 minutes, there's no more uh, 60 lots that can go in there. So our final answer will be 2 hours and 18 minutes.